just so I'm clear, are you, do you feel pretty confident that you're going to be alive on Sunday? It all started out in Afghanistan when we wiped the oppressor straight off the land. I'm a third generation reporter, and for years, I've been chasing Omar Hamami, a former Southern Baptist from Alabama, who by rapping and online videos became the face of jihad in Africa and one of the most wanted terrorists in the world. Mortar by mortar, shell by shell, only gonna stop when I send him to hell. Eventually, despite rumors he'd been killed, I found Omar. Or more like, he found me. For more than a year, we corresponded in secret while he was hiding from U.S. forces, and eventually on the run from the very insurgent group he put on the map. You had mentioned before that you thought you were going to be like ducking in the mud and eating snails and drinking urine. Like, did any of that end up coming about? No, no. I I prepared my Slowly, I got close to Omar, closer than I ever thought I would, perhaps closer than I should, at least according to the CIA. How could you have all that information and keep it to yourself when you knew that we were not only looking for him, but that this person was a threat? I'd come up against the line and maybe crossed it. One of America's most wanted had become a close confidant, almost like a friend. And I was on the other end of his encrypted messages, wondering how long he could possibly survive. Was it good journalism? An ethical lapse? Was it my faith in humanity that kept me talking to Omar? Or something darker? My name is Christoph Putzel. Coming soon from Endeavor Audio and 222 Productions, this is American Jihadi. Christoph, have you heard anything about Omar?